Welcome to Pogunsa Temple. Tonight, we're spending the night here. How'd you sleep? Not very good. Now, we've actually been here before for the Lantern Festival last year, but we never got to do this because we didn't even know about it until after we left. So even though we don't know how much we'll actually be able to film for you guys, we're super excited to just experience this experience. So they've just shown us to our rooms. They gave us our outfits, a nice welcome tea. We'll give you guys a room tour later. We're gonna change really quick and we have to meet everyone back downstairs in 10 minutes. That was a long day. That was a really long day, you guys. It's been- Seven hours. Since we last checked in. I kind of have to whisper because it's like bedtime right now. Yeah, we're supposed to be sleeping. But we wanted to give you guys a quick little run through of what our day looked like. Right when we left, we started off with a walking tour of the temple. It was actually built in the 700s yeah. and moved here from Busan about 600 years ago, which is absolutely crazy. It was our temple as the guardian of a royal tomb. And also practice uh, hard ascetic ways, starving, sleeping. Yeah. It's kind of funny because Tyler and I have both been to this temple multiple times, and I saw places that I've never seen on my own no. before. And we got to do some things that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. We headed off to a tea ceremony. Which I did not expect. No, and it was like a full-blown tea ceremony, like how to pour tea, how to seep it. It was completely hands-on. We got to try the tea, we got to steep our own tea, we got to watch the lady teach us how to make tea. Yeah. And they even had little cookies for us. That was pretty cool. They were really yummy. Mm -hmm. And the tea was good. It was. And they gave us tea. Yeah. Like, they gave us a little welcome packet <sighs> with, <laughs> with tea in it. I really enjoyed that. Me too. After that, we headed back into like our main building where the Temple State Program is held and did like copying and tracing with gold letters. Comes together. Always had a different saying. Like a Buddhist saying. Mm -hmm. um, it was very interesting. I liked it. I did too. They turned out really pretty, I think. Mine's not the greatest, but better than I thought I could do. Oh, and then we went to dinner. Yeah, then we went to dinner after. We went to dinner. We really had no expectations because in the email, they're like, you shouldn't comment on the food about how it tastes or how it looks or yeah. how it smells. You know, they're really good basic Korean meal with yeah. like rice and all of these vegetable sides. May I take uh, only food enough? May I take only food enough? To sustain the body and uh, prevent uh, illnesses. To sustain the body and prevent illnesses. And uh, may I accept this food? And may I accept this food? To attain enlightenment. To attain enlightenment. And then after that, I, we got to hear a drummer. The monk invited us up to gong it with him, so we got to gong it. We hit the gong. Hi. Hi.
I always walk by it and I'm like, oh, that'd be so fun to hit, but uh, no. And I always tell him no. Afterwards, we went to Yebu, which is like a proper Buddhist ceremony. Yeah. And so we got to sit in there and watch others like bowing and chanting, which was very interesting. Yeah, it was very interesting. There's no videos or photos allowed inside that yeah. area. Yeah. But it was very interesting to experience for ourselves. And then the very last thing of the day, actually we did a lot today, was a meditation session with a monk. So two and a half hours. It ended up being more of a discussion than a meditation. And learning about Buddhism. The Buddhist foundations about Buddha and how he came to enlightenment and how they kind of tried to reach enlightenment on their own. And the translation was a little different or difficult at times, but Deborah speaks Korean, so it was a little easier for her. It definitely helped that I spoke Korean. Yes. <laughs> and then we ended with about a 15 minute meditation, and now it's time to go to bed because yep. we have to get up in seven hours. Seven hours. At 4 a.m. So we're gonna make our beds, go to sleep, and we will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's about 4 a.m. How'd you sleep? Not very good. We're up and at it. We're going to go see what they have planned for us for the rest of our Temple Stay program. We're back. We're back. Good morning. What time is it? It is it's about 7.30 now, so we've been up for three and a half hours. It feels like the whole day. When we left right away, we started with a another Yebel ceremony. Something similar to like a church service. Yeah. You know, they were like chanting and doing their prayers and bowing and it's a very cool thing to see in person. Yeah. Even though we can't show you guys. It's a reason to come do it for yourself. Then we came back and had a workout. <laughs> Not really. We did 108 full bows this morning. That's a lot. We're a little sore. <laughs> My legs are so sore. We're a little sore, which actually we should show you guys. So there's two different bows that we learned. One is like the half bow that you would do when you see um, a monk in passing. So you put your hands together like in a prayer formation, and then you just bow. You do this when you go by uh, Buddha, like in the center of a temple. And then the other is a full bow, and essentially you just go all the way to the ground in like a crouch position bow, and then like come back up. Tyler calls them burpees, but they're not burpees. No, I still like it. So we did 108 of those, and then we went to have breakfast. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was the same as dinner, kind of. Yeah, very similar to dinner. We had tofu, veggies, kimchi, rice, seaweed. They had miyoku, which is like a Korean seaweed soup. And bananas for the tourists. Literally, that's what she said. And now we have a little bit of free time. So, we thought this would be the perfect chance to show you guys our room. Welcome to our room. So this is the little area. We have like a little traditional Korean foyer, which is where we take our shoes off because um, you don't wear shoes inside the house in Korea. We've got a nice big old closet. We haven't put anything in. There's like extra blankets in there. I'm trying to be quiet. We've got our bathroom here. It's a very regular bathroom. We have a sink that's like attached to, we have a shower head that's attached to the sink. Mirror, you do have to bring your own towels. So if you're coming, make sure to do that. They send out like an entire list of things that you need in an email before your visit. So just follow that. And that brings us to the only other room. This is where our beds are. You can see them here. They're typically be put away, but we haven't made our beds yet. So we also have like a little control center over here. So we have lights, 
We have AC, we can change that however we want. Fun fact, they also have Wi-Fi here for those of you that are doing the temple stay. That was something I definitely did not expect to have at all, but it's here in case you need it. We've kind of thrown all of our stuff on the ground because there's no table. Well, there is like a little table, but not enough to hold our stuff. So we've got a little desk here. It has a calendar, an alarm clock, like a water pitcher, mm -hmm. boiler, hot pot. water pot. What I believe is the Uda's teachings, um, but it's all in Korean. So this would take me like a year to read and Tyler way longer. <laughs> Also forgot to mention our room comes with some mats that they told us we can use to practice our bowing. So you can do it. In case Tyler wants to do another 100 eight. Nope. That is our room. So next up, we're gonna go have some tea with the monk that we did our meditation slash discussion with last night. We're going to check out, and we have to bring all of our bedding and our uniforms back downstairs so they can wash it. I don't think orange is my color. <laughs> Also have our garbage baggie. <laughs> we had an amazing last 24 hours. If you're in Seoul, if you're visiting Korea, I would definitely put this at the top of your list. It's kind of a hidden gem that I feel like not many people know about, and the experience is truly amazing. And they give you little gifts, like after each activity. <laughs> Anyways, as always, we appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe. We're gonna head home now in the pouring rain, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Show you guys kind of up close. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like literal wood blocks.